another week, another crucial game. This time it's Reading at home, a game that hasn't really gone in our favour over the past couple of years. The game in September was a bit of a summary of our season, really. Just mistakes, poor conversion. And yeah, it's it's been a recurring theme pretty much from, from then on till now. I made a video yesterday just getting a load of things off my chest about Stoke because there, it's it's more than I can fit into a couple of minute segments either side of the, the match. But yeah, Reading today, I'm not sure how it's going to go. Tom Ince against his former side. We know how unlucky we've been against some former players. Scott Hogan, prime example, uh, scoring for Birmingham against us back in November now. We're in search of our first home win since the 8th of November. We've had two really, really poor, well, three really poor home results since then. I'm unsure which way it's going to go. I think Tom Ince will score. Um, I assume there'll be a couple of changes to the team as well uh, after the defeat at Sheffield United last week. Hopefully, it's a little bit more of a positive vlog today. I know the last couple have been really difficult to put together and just really difficult to, to find the positives in, really. So, like I say, hopefully today we'll have some goals to celebrate and a win to celebrate come five o'clock this afternoon. But yeah, let's without further ado, let's get into the ground. Come on, Stoke. Team uses out a handful of changes from the loss at Sheffield United last week. Harry Sutar and Nick Powell drop out of the side, both through injury. Harry Sutar picking up a hip injury in training. Um, Nick Powell, of course, came off at Bramwell Lane. So that means the back three is made up of Phil Jagielka, Morgan Fox and Ben Wilmot. Dujon Sterling doesn't make the starting eleven, so it's Jacob Brown back at right wing back. Dujon Sterling back on the bench after an extended spell out through injury. Jordan Thompson also drops to the bench. I'm unsure on that one. I think Jordan Thompson has been one of our better players recently. Lewis Baker captains the side alongside Will Smallbone, who also returns from injury, and Josh Lawrence in midfield. And up top, Dwight Gale, of course, yet to still score his first goal in red and white with Tyrese Campbell. A couple of youngsters back on the bench, Connor Taylor, Demarjo Wright-Phillips, and Emre Tezgal as well. So hopefully they can get some minutes a little bit later on in the game. I'm going to try and be optimistic. I'm going to go 2-1 Stoke. I reckon Gale will get one. I'd like to see Emery Tezgal and DiMaggio come off the bench. Hopefully they could notch one. I reckon Tezgal could get a late winner and then Tom Ince score for Reading. Wouldn't be surprised if that's the first goal in the game, to be honest. But yeah, hopefully we come away with the win. A much needed win. Come on. Almost double the lead, but we've got to settle for a corner. Baker, 
Tottenham won the second phase, Smallbone back over to Bacon. Nice touch, can he keep it in? Yes. Gives it to Campbell. Campbell plays it back to Lauren. Lauren first time ball back in into Morgan Fox on the back stick. Still to keep his head down. Has fallen back into a stoke line. Jack Yelp has had a swing. Can it fall to Campbell on the back stick? No. Yes, it can. It's all good. Oh, Another corner in quick succession. Baker away, swing it into the box. It's been off well. Cleared by Redhill. Hendricks escaped the defensive line. Ball in, really good block from Fox, but it falls straight back to the Redhill man. It's going to force it um, into on the edge of the box. Shot had by Redhill. Wide foul on Jagielka in the build up. Good palm away from Jack Bonham. Simon Simon and Paul Fizzes across the box. Clear now. 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 It's a low ball for Baker this time. He comes out to the edge of the box. Simon and Paul Fizzes put it into the game. Gets in there. Simon had the shot from the edge of the box. I think it was a really good idea though for Lewis Baker to catch the red Defensive unit off guard. Half time as the fog billows itself into the, the bet 365. We lead 1 0. Really, really nice goal from Will Smallbow in his second of the campaign, I believe. Side footed gr gently, just gracefully curled the ball home into the far corner from the edge of the box. Really nice flick on from Tyrese Campbell as well in the build up. So many more players look alive today and we are so much more of a better side. Baker looks alive, Lawrence has been absolutely quality in midfield, Gales pressed hard and probably unlucky not to notch his first for the club. At the back we don't seem to be missing Sutar too much which is interesting. I know Reading haven't offered an awful lot going forwards, a lot of it's going through Ince who had probably hit the best moment for him was a free kick that he hit against the wall. Some good running to, to win it, but apart from that, he's, he's not really troubled the Stoke defence. The second half, I reckon we will get another one, and it could come from anywhere across the pitch, really. We look dangerous from corners today. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them finds its way into the back of the net. Unsure who's going to get it, but just hoping we can see how, more importantly, the, the advantage we've got, and hopefully by full time, we'll be achieving our first home win in a couple of months, so yeah. Let's get into the second half. Come on, Stoke.
great ball in looking for Henry Tesco tries to break through a couple of red defenders. Really, really bright cameo though for his first league minutes. Full-time Stoke City for Reading nil. Where's that been? Where's that come from? An incredible performance from everyone. No one put a foot wrong throughout. Some great goals in there. Started off by Will Smallburn in the, four, in the first half. A really, really nice finish from the edge of the box, as we mentioned. Second half, Tyrese doubles the lead. A really nice curved effort again. Beats Lumley at the near post. Third goal came through Jacob Brown, I think. Really, really nice cross from Josh Timon from the left. Escaped everyone in the box. Brown was there to tap it in and score the third. And then Dwight Gale turned in uh, a Josh Laurent long shot. A really, really audacious attempt from the ex-Royal. But it ended up in the back of the net via the backside of Dwight Gale. I don't know. But that's him off the mark. Hopefully that can give him some uh, momentum in the goal on the goal for scoring front in the next couple of weeks, months. And they played the uh, celebrations of the goal on the big screen and the smile on his face, the, just the sense of relief on his face. Brilliant, brilliant to see. I thought Baker was absolutely excellent today. And we are so... When Baker's on form, we are so much more of a better team. Um, and it was really, really good to see him. Uh, back in back in the action really because um, there's been a couple of games where he hasn't got involved and got stuck in a little bit he hasn't got stuck in too much um, so that was good to see blown away to be honest by that um, hopefully with a couple of additions we can keep up th this level of performance because you know especially at Sheffield last week it wasn't good at all but no I I'm, I'm almost lost for words for that performance it was possibly the best one of the season Another clean sheet, of course, which is always good, especially without Harry Sutar, who potentially could be on his way out in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully we can take this back into the league when we resume league action after the FA Cup game against Stevenage next Sunday. Looking forward to that one, hopefully. Emery Tesco can get a start, um, but it will be a tough game because they're doing really, really well in League 2. Yeah, hope you all have enjoyed. I'll see you all next Sunday against Stevenage. Come on.